Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast. So Binance US, as it's come and gone, very, uh, very underwhelming, but it was never going to be much of anything. I hate throwing cold water on folks, so I tried to be subtle in my Binance video. But whether it is Binance US or Binance Global, it's not really going to matter much for AMP. Listings aren't going to move the needle on this one respectably. Can it make a wobble? Yeah, sure. Uh, some pumps and dumps? Sure. Can more and more listings cause more and more volatility in it? Clearly. What will actually move it, though? What will actually hold it? Time. Proof of concept. Out of all the tokens available in the crypto sphere, I want to say AMP is one of the most unique and most closely pegged to its usage. Because aside from collateralizing payments on the AMP network, it has no other use case. Not at this time. I know they've been exploring where else it could derive value. But they always come back to the same basic premise. Got to use it to grow it. So today we are getting right into what will help AMP grow, and it's pretty basic. Getting into it right after this, please stand by. You got to stop thinking about AMP as a fluid token. It really isn't. It is a single-use token for an ecosystem that hasn't even begun to be developed yet. If you really want to make a comparison to AMP, you have got to stop comparing it to anything that is not a fuel for a network. That's what AMP is. It is a fuel, like the Theta fuel for the Theta network, like Ethereum, like Cardano. Their early values were purely speculative because nothing really existed for them to be used for as they were intended. October 2015, Ethereum was 65 cents. Why? Nothing was built on the Ethereum rail. At least, you know, nothing meaningful. May 2019, Theta Fuel, sub penny. Today, 33 cents. Why? Why the price change? Because nothing was built on Theta. December 2017, Cardano, two cents. Today, a buck 32. Why? There was nothing built on Cardano, and today there is. But that is what AMP is about. That is why it is such a long-term hold. AMP is Ethereum. It's Cardano. It's Theta Fuel. Listings are not going to matter for this one. Visibility isn't really going to matter for this one. Advertising isn't going to matter for this one, and I will have that fight with anyone. You know what? I have it with my own team here at the podcast. I guess one could explore the option that if enough people know about it, it may inspire more entities to build on the AMP network. I could entertain that. But until more entities actually do build on the AMP network, it will simply remain a speculative token with lots of liquidity for lots of ups and downs. I know my folks don't want to hear this, but you need to hear this because I'm right. When, when Eli was on our show and when we got to talk to him the night before, the most animated he became in the entire conversation was when we were exploring use cases for AMP. What else could it be used for? Who else could utilize this? What other processes would be better served with AMP as opposed to fiat? Legacy. This is a man who works for Flexa, and the man from Flexa is asking how else could AMP be used? So you know they're talking about it at Flex HQ. That is an assumption on my part, but you know what? You weren't in on the conversation, so you need to take my word for it. The thing that helps AMP more than anything else is time. Time is on its side. It needs to develop. It needs to mature. I used to think, I even did a video on it, but I used to think that AMP was the proof of concept for Flexa. But one of our viewers put me on a whole different train of thought, and you know what? I think he's right. Flexa is the proof of concept for AMP. It's the one thing that I just cannot get around after our interview with Flexa. 
every direction they seem to be going. North American focus, sticking in crypto spends, not pushing where they should be pushing, suggests to me that this was never about spending crypto. It was about proving that if AMP can process crypto and do it quickly, safely, cheaply, that it will process anything at all that can be put into it. Asset agnostic. And what better asset to prove it with than crypto? Clearly, I think that they are on to something here. And I think they are on to something big. I, I'm in a lot of tokens, but my heaviest bags are packed with AMP. This is not financial advice because, you know what? What do I know? I can't see the future. But I can add. I can see where big problems exist in the legacy financial system, and I can easily see how AMP could solve them. But before another entity puts up the billion or so dollars necessary to fund their venture using AMP, it needs to be proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that it works. It needs to be put through the ringer completely. We understand it because we are AMP people. You know, most of us understand it. If you're one of those who really don't care how it works, you just want it to go up, you know what? You kind of lucked into a ticket to the chocolate factory here, but you need to be patient. If you enjoy passing your time rooting for it, just purely rooting for it with no context to go up, 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 Lambo, great. There's no harm in that. Enjoy the game however you wish. But your time can be better spent figuring out why it is, where it is and giving it an objective valuation to figure out where it will be. Time your buys, time your sells. Become a trader. AMP is going to go, but not yet. It is not going to blow out until other entities start building on it. And that is the truth. The news you should be looking for is who, what, when, where, why, how is looking at AMP for usage, for a new idea and a new direction that it isn't being used for now. That's your bellwether, not listings. A real use case indicator of future trends. So that's it for this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed. I hope the sound is fixed. I, I got my gain just kind of like cranked up now. It was perfect for the old mic. My setup was great for the old mic. Clearly not good for the new one, but I think we have it now. If I don't, please mention it in the comments and I will fix it. Live stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays, occasional Saturdays at 1900 Central. Join our Discord at Dark Side of the Podcast. That's it. Cheers.